In this video, I'm going to show you how we can pull data from any ODBC compatible database and bring it into the Stack Graphics datasheet for analysis. To connect to a database, we start by picking File from the main menu and then selecting Open, Open Data Source. Look for the radio button labeled ODBC Query, select it and press OK. This will initiate a sequence of dialog boxes that I can use to connect to that database and also to define the query. If you've not connected to the database before, you need to first define a DSN or dataset name. You do this by pressing New and then selecting the driver for the type of database you want to access. In this case, I'm going to be treating Excel as if it's a database, so I'm going to pick the Microsoft Excel driver. When I pick Next, it'll come up with a dialog box and ask me to give a name for this connection, which I'm going to call Connection 1. If I press Next, I'll see a summary of the data connection that I've defined, the file data source. If I'm satisfied with it, I'll push Finish. One more step, if it's an Excel database you want to connect to, you need to select the data book, which I'll do by pressing that button and then scrolling to the location of the data sheet that I want to pull into Stack Graphics. In this case, there's a data file, sample data file that ships with a program called Process Data, which I'm going to select and press OK and OK again to complete the connection. It's now time to actually define the SQL query. We'll do that by pressing OK and going first to the Select Fields dialog box. On the Select Fields dialog box, I can pick any of the tables or views in the database and select fields to import. In this case, I'm going to double click on date, and double click on strength. And if I wanted to, I could pick other fields from other sheets at the same time. In this case, I'm satisfied with just those two fields, so I'll press OK. And then go to a dialog box that lets me filter the data if I wish. In this case, let's use date time as a filter and ask it to pull only records for which the date time is greater than or equal to, oh, let's make it March 1, 2005. Now, if it's a date, I need to type it in a very special format. I need to type it as 2005-03-01 for March 1st. If I press OK, there'll be one more dialog box to complete, and that's the sort order dialog box, where I can pick up to three fields on which to sort the data. In this case, I'll ask it to sort on ascending order of date time, when I then press OK, it will query the database and pull the data that I asked for into the Stack Graphics datasheet, from which I can then go and start my analysis. 